So this is the manual for the Minolta SRT101. Um, pretty great reviews from this camera. Um, I haven't used it yet, so this is just a manual, but it looks pretty good from what I've seen. First of all, the back. Um, to open the back door, you're going to pull up on the foam compartment. And once the back door opens, you're going to place your film in upside down and then pull your film to the right. So if you notice, those spools are kind of funky looking, um, but they're actually pretty cool um, and they're pretty secure. So once you get your film in there and it's in the spools, you're going to close the back door. And this one was a little tricky. But once it's closed, you're going to um, pull the frame rewind knob down, then advance the shutter a couple times. When you're done shooting, you're going to flip the camera upside down, hit the film rewind button right there, and then flip the camera back side up, pull up on the film rewind knob, and um, turn clockwise. You'll be able to feel the when it's totally rewound, and you'll be able to hear it. When you're done rewinding, you're going to pull up on this knob again, and then the back door is going to open. And then you're just going to take out your film. So on the top of the camera, you're going to see a couple dials. Um, this first dial, if you pull up and turn left or right, you're going to be able to change the ASA speed. If you just turn the dial to the left or right itself, this is changing the shutter speed. So pretty good range from 1 to 1 over 1,000. To advance the shutter, you're just going to pull this to the right and then hit down the shutter button right there. So on the front of the camera, there's going to be two sync ports. One, that FP is 1 over 1 to 1,000, so that's the range. The other one, X, is 1 over 60. Also, I had problems um, releasing the lenses, but this is how you do it. You're going to pull down on that little lever right there and then turn the lens to the left, and then you can take it off. On the front of the camera is also a mirror lockup um, tool. So this locks up the mirror for some of the lenses on this camera, the extra wide lenses, you need to do that. But then it's also used for macro photography when you need the camera shutter to be really, really still. And um, this next clip is going to show what it looks like when it's locked up. And then when you turn it off, that's when it goes back down. Also on the front of the camera is a self timer, which is a pretty cool function. Um, these are the older ones, so they're all manual. But the idea is you're going to turn it to the left, and then you're going to cock the shutter. And then you're going to hit that little button right there, and it's going to let it go. If you want to stop it, you just pull it back to the left. So it's going to go all the way. Another thing you're going to notice is below that self timer is the stop down button. So I couldn't figure this out to work at first, but you have to first um, cock the shutter and then hit the stop down button with the uh, lens that is compatible. And it'll allow you to view the depth of field through the lens, which is a pretty cool feature on this camera. But it doesn't work with all lenses. On the bottom of the camera, you're going to see the um, this button right here, which controls the meter. On is on, and BC is battery check. And then also that other um, white circle is the battery compartment. This uses a 1.3 volt battery, um, PX625s work. So if that's what you that's what you need to look for if you're going to use it. Hey, thanks.